The following is the class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, ninth chapter, text number four, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on April 23, 1976, in Melbourne, Australia. So this is the fourth verse of the subject matter, the confidential and the king of knowledge to understand God. This is the subject matter. <coughs> so yesterday we discussed that Asadhara uh, Asadhara uh, Purusha Dharma Sasa Parantapa. A prapya man nivartanti mitu samsara sāra. There are two ways. One destination is to go back to home, back to God. Another destination is to be involved in the cycle of birth and death. So this human form of life is the junction to decide where you make your way. You are going to back to home, back to Godhead, or again you are going back to the cycle of birth and death, mittu saṅsāra, bhaktmani. Bhaktmani means path. That you have to decide in this human form of life. Because you are not animal. Huh? Animals they have no intelligence. Their first duty is where to get money, uh, not money, food. Uh, money is required for purchasing food. But the animals, they do not know that food can be purchased. They are searching after food. Uh, but we are civilized. Uh, we are searching after money. Money is required for purchasing food. Why, why don't you purchase, why don't you produce food directly? That is intelligence. Uh, you are getting money, very good. What is that money? A paper. You are being cheated. It is written there, hundred dollars. But what is that hundred dollars? It is cheap of piece of paper. Uh, but because you are so full, you are accepting a piece of paper, hundred dollars, and the struggle for existence, for a piece of paper. Why don't you be intelligent? Why shall I take the piece of paper? Give me food. Uh, but that intelligence you have lost. Uh, therefore, my Guru Maharaj used to say, the present human society is combination of cheaters and cheated. No intelligent person. Formerly, uh, money was gold and silver, uh, coins. It has some value. Uh, but what is the present currency? A simply piece of paper, uh, bunch of papers during the last war. The government failed in, in Germany, and this bunch of papers were thrown in the streets. Nobody was caring. Uh, nobody is caring. Says our civilization is based on that. Uh, you require food. That's fact. Therefore, Krishna says, "Annam bhavanti bhutani." You produce your food. Anywhere you can produce your food. Uh, the land is enough land. In Australia, you have got enough land. In Africa, you have enough land, uncultivated. Uh, no, they will not produce food. They will produce coffee and uh, tea and slaughter animals. This is their business. I understand that in your country 
Some animals are slaughtered and exported for trade. And why export? You produce your own food and be satisfied. Huh? Why you are after that piece of hundred hundred dollars paper? Produce your own food huh? and eat sensuously. Be healthy and chant Hare Krishna. This is civilization. Uh, this is civilization. Uh, so therefore Krishna said that one who does not take uh, care of my instruction, asadhadhana, no faith, asadhadhana purusha. Purusha means any man, any human being, living being. But I mean, human being. Because otherwise who will hear Krishna? The cats and dogs will not hear. That is not possible. They have no capacity. But you are all human beings. Either you are Australian or Indian or American or you can hear Bhagavad Gita. There is no doubt about it. It is a question of explaining in your language. So we are trying to do that. The Bhagavad Gita, the message of Bhagavad Gita is not sectarian. Don't take it like that. It is science, how to make the whole human society peaceful and happy. It doesn't matter whether you are Australian, American, Indian or African. And practically we see, we have got branches all over the world. Those who have taken to Krishna consciousness, they are happy. So take it very seriously. Don't neglect it. That is the, the sectarian and religion of the Hindus. No. Krishna is not for the Hindus. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that Sarvajoni <coughs> Sukhaunteya Sambhavanti Mutaya. <clears throat> in every form of life, as many living entities as there are, I have explained this, there are different forms of life. Even within the water, uh, there are 900,000 forms of life. Uh, this is basic knowledge. Uh, you can take directly knowledge. You can understand. You do not require to dive into the water and make study, aquatic research, so on. You take the knowledge from the Vedic literature, you immediately understand that there are uh, 900,000 species of people. This is a different form. The living entity soul is everywhere. But according to his karma, uh, just like nowadays, People are very much fond of diving within the water and swimming. It has become a fashion. So next life they are going to become fish. <laughs> yes, <coughs> because if you, at the time of death, if you think of that how to swim very nicely within the water, that means next life nature will give you a fish life. Isn't it? That is God's mercy. Why you artificially try to become a fish? You become actually fish. That is nature's gift. So in the get Jagajagabhapisma, this is stated, you know. Because whatever we practice in our life, so that uh, concept of life, that imagination continues. Just like you dream. What do you dream? Whatever you think always, you dream like that. It's a mental activity. Ah. So those who are trying to become peace like nature offers saying an actual body of peace. That is transmigration of the soul. We are desiring different types of desires. And we are getting a body. Uh, this is nature's law. Just like you infect some type of contagious disease, 
is suffer from the disease. Nature is suffering. Ah. It will be automatically manufactured. That is it. Disease. Similarly, the body will be automatically manufactured. This is the nature's law. Prakitekya manani gunai karmani sarvas. You are under the control of the material nature. And if you are manufacturing different ideas, nature will give you the facility to have such body. That is called transmigration of the soul. Therefore we find so many varieties of forms of life within the water, on the land, so many plants, so many varieties of trees, so many varieties of insects, so many varieties of birds, bees, and then human life, and then civilized life. So in this way, by the process of evolution, we come to this point of human form of life, and if you are actually civilized, then take advantage of the instruction of Krishna and make your choice whether you are going back to home, back to Godhead, or again in the cycle of birth and death. This is the point. So, if you accept the instruction given by Krishna, we pray, then our life are successful. And why you should not take? It is not very difficult. And if we take Krishna's instruction, He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is speaking everything which is correct. If you take instruction from others, others means those have no connection with God or Krishna. They cannot give you correct information because they are conditioned under the laws of nature. The defect is ordinary person will commit mistake, will be illusion. His senses are imperfect and he has the tendency to cheat. Uh, this is ordinary living being. And those who are uh, followers of Krishna or Krishna Himself, they have no such defects. Whatever will they say, that is correct. Uh, so if we take correct knowledge, then our life is successful. And if we want to be cheated, then there are many cheaters. He'll cheat you. Uh, so make your uh, choice, uh, which way you shall go, whether you shall go back to home, back to Godhead, or again go to the cycle of birth and death. Bhutta-bhutta-paliyate, uh, that is our practical experience. Uh, we are changing our body. Uh, and the mother's home, we were very small in the first night uh, after sex, the two seminars. Uh, they mix up and they become uh, a form of a pea. Within that pea form, substance, the living entity takes shelter and gradually grows. Uh, then there are nine holes, and then the hands and legs and everything become complete, and when he can sustain, the nature's law pushes him by the earth and he comes out of the mother home and then again grows in different types of body. And then he becomes old man. Then when the body is no more usable, then the body is finished and the soul again enters another mother's body. This is called transmigration. Uh, this is going on. But this is not a very happy thing. Today you may have Australian body or American body or Indian body, but when this body is finished, what is the next body you are going to get? You must have information. You are human being. Uh, but that education is not there. There is no education throughout the whole world. How the soul is being transmigrated from one body to another, what body you are going to get next, this, is, this will be happy or distressful. 
Uh, if we get a nice body, human form or demigod, we may live uh, very happily. Not happily, at least better than the animals. But if we get the body of an animal, <coughs> then just imagine what is the suffering. If you get the body of a tree, now just imagine, a tree is standing uh, in the open atmosphere. There is no fog, there is scorching heat, but it has no power to move an inch. Uh, that is also life. Uh, and you can move from here to there, your facility. So now in the human form of life, you have got all facilities given by God. You take advantage of it, don't put yourself again in the laws of nature and be liberated, go back to home, back to God. This is the Krishna consciousness movement. Uh, it is the uh, most, uh, man, topmost uh, humanitarian activity to give them information that uh, in this life, uh, what we are informing, the same thing as Krishna is. Krishna is informing. We don't manufacture any ideas. That is not our business. Therefore, we present the Bhagavad Gita as it is. As it is. We don't change it. Uh, why we shall change? We are not greater authority than Krishna. Whatever Krishna has said, that is perfect. Why shall I change it? Uh, there are many rascals that change the meaning, the interpretation, but that is misleading. Uh, you cannot change. Everything is very clear. Uh, just like you do not require a lamp to show the sun. The sun sign itself is quite bright to see sun. If body says, I have brought one lamp, you can see. Uh, this is nonsense. Uh, so Bhagavad Gita is so perfectly illuminated that anyone can understand without any uh, very advanced knowledge, simple knowledge. Just like this transmigration of the soul. How simply it is. People cannot understand it. But Krishna is explaining this transmigration of soul so nicely. Dehinasmin jatha dehi kaumarajo namijara tatha dehantara prati dhirasvata namayati. Then Krishna said, that asmin de in this body, there is the proprietor of the body, soul. Uh, and because the proprietor of the body is there, therefore body is changing different forms. How? Not just like from babyhood to childhood, childhood to boyhood, boyhood to youthhood, youthhood to middle age, then old man. And when the body is no longer durable, tatha dehaṁ prapti as you have come through so many bodies, so when the body is no more usable, you get another. So where is the difficulty to understand? Plain thing. Uh, plain thing. Uh, but we are stubborn. We do not wish to understand. This is not a sectarian. This is a science. Uh, if a child becomes a boy, he is a sectarian. Uh, the Hindu child becomes a boy, Hindu boy, and the Christian child becomes a Christian. That is outward, Hindu, Muslim, Christian. But the, within this body, I am Hindu or Christian because I have got this body from the Christian father, mother, Hindu mother. But that is body. I am not this body. Therefore, we have to understand first that I am not this body, therefore I am not Hindu, not Muslim, not Christian, not black, not white. I am pure spiritual, on Brahma. This is the first basic knowledge. Uh, this is not sectarian. Uh, this is the basic knowledge. You believe or not believe. If a child says, no, I don't believe that I shall become a boy. But you believe and you must have to become a boy. Uh, a boy says, no, no, I shall not become a young man. No, no, you must have to. That is nature's law. Uh, 
Similarly, if one says, no, no, my this body finished, I will not get any body. No, 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 you have to get it. Tathāde āndara prāti, you must have to get Now make your choice, which kind of body you shall get. That is intelligence. That is intelligence. So that intelligence is also described in the Bhagavad-gītā that jānti dīva vṛtā devān pitrīṁ jānti pitrīṁ vṛtā. In this way, last line is, mar jāji no pi jānti māṁ. So if you like, you can go to go, can go back to home. Otherwise, as Krishna says here, asyadda dhāna purusā, asyadda dhāna purusā, dharma śāsa parantapa, dharma. This process, uh, if one does not believe, then uh, he is sure to go again to the cycle of birth and death. Uh, a prāprama, he, he is given this offer, uh, the opportunity, uh, this guy, this Krishna conscious moment is giving opportunity that you can go back to home, back to Godhead. Uh, but if you don't take this opportunity, if we manufacture our own way of life, then you cannot manufacture because the laws of nature is above you. Prakite, kriyamāna ni kuni karma ni sarvasa. Ahaṅkāra vimurātmā. If by false prestige or false egotism, you try to manufacture some ways and means for your happiness, that will never be possible because above you the strong nature's law is there. Uh, nature's law will act in its own way. Uh, it will not allow to change it by your so-called devices and fertile brain. That is not possible. It is simply by false prestige he is thinking that I can chuck out my own way of life. No, that is not possible. You are completely under the laws of nature, and whatever nature will do, you have to accept. Next life, if nature by nature he gives you better body, demigod's body, you have to accept. And the nature offers you a dog's body, you have to accept. You cannot change it. That is not possible. So we must be very careful. Krishna says, very easy that one can go back to home, back to Godhead very easily. How? Janma karmam ca me dibbam jo jana ati tattrata. Tattra dehan punar janma naiti māme iti. Krishna says, I appear in this material world. I appear just like ordinary child appears. I take birth. Actually, Krishna does not take birth. If you read Bhagavad, you will see how he appeared. Anyway, even if you take him that he appeared as the son of Vasudev or Mother Jasoda, uh, you can say that he played just like a child in the hands of Mother Jasoda. Uh, so that's all right. But you try to understand why, what kind of this child display or Leela of Krishna in front of Mother Jasura. That is it. Jarma karma me dibbam. That is all divine, transcendental. If we understand that God has become, God has become a child, or these people accepting a child of certain woman whose name is Jasura as God, then you are mistaken. And if you understand that God has come as a child of this great devotee Maharaj Jasoda, just to fulfill her desire, because Maharaj Jasoda wanted God as her son. So God has been very much pleased of this devotee. He has appeared as a son of Maharaj Jasoda. To understand, if you take Krishna, that here is a child uh, born in a Vaishya um, family uh, of Mahārāja Jasudā, Nanda Mahārāja. 
and these people are accepting him as God. Then you are missing. Therefore, Krishna says, Janma Karman Chame Dibbam. Uh, it is transcendental divine. Therefore, there are so many shastras to understand Krishna. Uh, otherwise, if Krishna is ordinary child, then why there are so many books? There is no need of so many books to understand Krishna. Just to understand Him, that He is not ordinary child, He is God Himself. Otherwise, who is writing so many books for understanding an ordinary child? Uh, therefore, Krishna says, that if one understands me, tattata, tattata means in fact, in truth, then he becomes so qualified that after we have to give up this body, any circumstances, that's a fact, then such person who has become fully uh, aware of Krishna, such person, uh giving up this body, Taktadam Punan Janmanaiti. He does not take any more birth with another material body. Then what he happens? The Mamaiti. He comes to me. That means he gets his original uh, spiritual body. Uh, so uh, if you simply try to understand, it's not very difficult. Uh, everything is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. You try to understand Krishna, then your life is successful. After giving up this body, uh, there is uh, no material body, you get spiritual body, and you enter in the spiritual world and uh, dance with Krishna, play with Krishna, talk with Krishna, live happily, peaceful life. Uh, this is instruction, this is the propaganda we are making. Why you are you writing so many books? We have already, have already 82 books. Simply on the subject matter of Krishna, to understand Krishna. Uh, to understand Krishna, uh, we can read books and we can understand. No, it is not so easy. Uh, therefore Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that manusyanam sahasreshu kaschit jatati siddhaya. Jatatama vi siddhyana kaschit vetimam tattata. To understand Krishna in truth, little difficult. Because Krishna says, out of many millions of persons, one is interested to make his life perfect. Nobody is interested. Everyone is interested to live like animal, eat, drink, be merry, and enjoy sex, and die like cats and dogs. This, so far they know. But they do not know that we can make our life perfect here. No more death, no more birth, no more illness, no more disease. Who is interested? Uh, they think that this is story. No, it is fact. If you want to make your life so perfect, not to go through this process of birth, death, old age and disease, you can do that. Uh, there is process. Uh, but if you neglect, that is our business. But the shastras, the knowledge, the Vedas, the big, big acharyas, Krishna, his incarnation, his devotees, they are simply trying to give you this knowledge that you can make your life perfect. No more death, no more birth, no more old age, no more disease that you can make. That is what. <coughs> Therefore, shastras say that Guru Nasasad Janani Nasasad. Pita nasasya in this way. That namo chayaja This is the perfect knowledge, the perfection of life. Samupeta mrittum. We have got a situation in this material world. Repetition of birth, death, old age, disease. But Shastra says one should not become a guru. One should not become a father. One should not become a mother, one should not become a deity, one should not become a friend in this way. He says, if one cannot give relief to his friend or son or disciple, relief from the impending birth, death, old age, and uh, This is real contraceptive method. Uh, if you think that if a child is born, I shall educate him in such a way 
that this bath will be his last bath. Next he is going to bath home, bath home. Then produce a child. Otherwise don't produce. Uh, this is spiritual contraceptive. Uh, uh, this is real father and mother. Otherwise a dog is also becoming a father. Uh, 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 such kind of father becoming is not recommended in the Vedic civilization. Uh, uh, just become a real father to give the real benefit to the son, then you become a father. This is called Varnasam Dharma. Uh, not to become, uh, it is said in a Bengali poem, Janame Janame Sabe Pita Mata Pa. In every life, everyone gets a father and mother. Because without father and mother, there is no question of birth. Janame Janame Sabe Pita Mata Pa. Krishna Guru Nahi Mile Bhajo Kiya. But he cannot get the proper guidance guru and Krishna in every life. He can get father and mother in every life, but he cannot get Krishna and guru in every life. So we have got this chance, uh, this life. Uh, how to get Krishna, how to get guru, we have got intelligence. We should not miss this point. Uh, this is Krishna consciousness movement. Take advantage of this movement. This is not a manufactured thing. It is authorized, spoken by Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and accepted by big, big acharyas uh, from very old time. Naradadeva, Vyasadeva, Asita. Uh, then in the recent years, Ramanu Charja, Madhya Charja, Nimbhaka, and then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, everyone has accepted this basic literature. And they have preached, uh, formerly they were preaching within India. Now, by Krishna's grace, the preaching is going on all over the world. Take advantage of it. Make your life perfect. Uh, this is Krishna consciousness movement. So, if we take acceptance, uh, that whatever Krishna is saying, it is perfect. This is called Sadhya Dhamma. See, without faith you cannot make any progress. Uh, in every action, you must have faith. Uh, that's why if you go to a barber, uh, uh, you uh, spread your neck like this and he is the razor. He can immediately cut your throat. But because you have got faith, now this barber is honest. He will not cut my throat, he will clean me, say. So faith is required in every step. Without faith you cannot make sense. Simply you have to find out the person that he is worthy of keeping my faith. So here is Krishna. Ah. He is accepted worthy of accepting his uh, instruction. So take it very seriously. The Bhagavad Gita is there. Then your life is successful. Ah. So what Krishna says next verse, <coughs> first of all he says, Maya tatamidam sadvam jagat abhaktam urtina masthani sarvabhutani nacha ahana tesu abhasthita. That's in the beginning of the instruction, one has to learn what he is in the second chapter. Now, this is ninth chapter, far away. If we read chapter after chapter very nicely, then we come gradually to the perfection of knowledge. Now, here Krishna says, Maya tatamidam sadvam jagat abhaktam Everything, whatever you see, material or spiritual, that is Krishna. Sadvam means everything. So Krishna says that I am spread all over the universe, or if you expand more. Uh, that is my uh, abhakta, non-manifested form, <coughs> non-manifested form. The example is given, just like the sun sign. What is the sun sign? Uh, the sun sign is illumination 
and uh, the heat also, heat and light, sunshine. That if you go to the sun planet, then what is that? Heat and light. And if you enter into the sun planet and see the person, the supreme person within the sun, there is a supreme person. We do not know. But we understand from Bhagavad Gita that Krishna says, Imana vivasate yogam pratvaan aham abhayam. He talks with the sun god. So, there is sun god. There is god or the president, you may say, president of the planet. But if the president is there, the government is there, there are living entities. Uh, in everywhere there are living entities. Living entity. Don't think that you are simply here in this planet and there is no living. It is wrong conception. Foolish conception. Uh, so, uh, the president of the sun planet, yes, he is the original person from where the sun sign and heat is coming. He is a person. And the population there, they are made so that their bodily effulgence is the heat and light, and that is being manifested in the sun glow. So, if we accept Krishna as authority, then we can understand the sun glow, which the scientists are trying to understand, but they have failed. But if we believe the words of Krishna, then from here, you can study what is the sun glow. This is a fact. You cannot imagine, you are teeny, you cannot become doctor frog within the well and try to understand Atlantic Ocean. That is not possible. Here the defect is, one is a small frog in the well and he is trying to understand the Atlantic Ocean. Three feet water, his jurisdiction is three feet water and he is trying to understand Atlantic Ocean. That is the defect. For Atlantic Ocean, you have to understand one has seen the Atlantic Ocean, then you can understand. Therefore, Bhagavad Gita recommends, Tadvidhi panipate na pariprasne na sivaya upadakshanti tad jnanam jnanina tatta darshina. Tatta darshina, one has seen the truth. So, here, you have no difficulty, Krishna is the Supreme Person. He knows everything. You take the information, knowledge from Krishna, then your life will be successful. That is the propaganda of this Krishna consciousness. Thank you very much. To love Krishna. If you become expert, how to love Krishna? The idea of loving is not unknown to you. You love somebody, you love your wife, you love your children, you love your country, you love your society. There are so many loving aspects. But when you love Krishna, then your life is perfect. That is, Savai Bhunsan Paro Dharma, Jato Bhakti Radhokha Jit, Ohi Tuti Aprati Hata, Jena Atma Sam Prati Dati, that is the perfection of life, perfection of religious life. If one learns how to love Krishna, and without any motive, Ohi Tuti, just like here in this world, there is no love. Because within this so-called love, there is a motive. I love a beautiful girl because she is beautiful. A girl loves a man because he has got money. So this is the meaning of this material love. But that's not that kind of love. Here there is a motive. So, Ahitukhi, without any motive. Aprati-hata, without being, without any obstacle. 
لبم گاز کلا بی چیک بھئی اینی میں چیزیں بھی تو نہیں بنتا یہ کہنا سے دس آم بھئی پور ہاو کا نہیں لبم گاز یہ کہنا سے آم بھئی اور آم بلیک آم وائٹ And this, and that. No, this material impediment has nothing to do for loving God. In any condition, you can love God. Ohi to ki apputa. Jinaata sampati jati. And if you are in that state, then you become completely happy. Shameen kita chosmi barang na jati. I have no more want to. That is perfection. And so long you have want, Uh, the karmis, ganis, yogis, they are in want. The karmis, they are all simply wanted material happiness. I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. The whole world is rolling. Modern material symbolism means to create wants. That is karmi. So they want, they will never get it. They want this, that, 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 there is no end. And ganis, When they are baffled, they want to become one with God, mukti. And yogis, they want to show some magic, the magical power. So the kormis, ganis, yogis, everyone is in want, they cannot be happy. And when you come to the position, my Lord, I do not want anything, simply I want to serve you. Give me this approach. And that is for six. Allah virasita sunnam jnana karma dana mritam anukullena krishna nishiranam bhakti vittama. That is for six. Yes. The God speaks to me, within me, whether I listen or not. God speaks, just like you are speaking face to face. Is that qualified? Not in terms of words or even sound within me, but does... Sound is speaking. Speaking is sound. There is no difference. When you speak, there is sound. God is within and without. Both. Not only within. That is, that I am going to explain. Maya tatamidam sadmam jagatam bhaktam urtila. I am everywhere. God is not only within, but without. But we have to see Him. We must have the eyes to see Him. God is everywhere. Maya, Tatamidam, Sarvam, everywhere. God is everywhere. So we have to qualify here ourselves, have to talk with God, have to see God. Otherwise God is present everywhere. <coughs> Surrender to Krishna, whatever you possess, what you possess, you possess your body, you possess your mind, and it may be you possess a home, wife, children, or husband, children, this is our possession. So when we surrender, my dear Lord, whatever I have got, I have got this body, I have got little mind, speculation, and some uh, a home or husband, wife, children, everything surrendered to you. Manasa deho geho jo ki chumur. Bhaktana thalasa. We don't possess much. We have to possess whatever God has given us, little. So anyway, whatever we possess, everything is surrendered to you. Without any reservation. That is surrender. You are already surrendered, but you are surrendered to the foolish of God. Just like a citizen, he has to surrender. He has to surrender to the foolish or to the government. If he surrenders to the government, then he has to go to the foolish custody and jail. So, instead of surrendering to Krishna, we have surrendered to his Maya. And the Maya is punishing us. The Yidjisa Gunamayi Mamo Maya Duruttaya. Maya means Apra Paddhanti. Maya means Dhanthanti. 
So if you want to get relief from the punishment of this Maya, then you surrender to Krishna. Your position is to surrender, either this side or that side. That means you are surrendering, surrendering to divine people. That is your position. You are surrendering to this ball or that ball. Hearing. This is correct or that is correct. But you do not know what is correct. So under these circumstances, you surrender to Krishna, you will get the correct answer. Because He is the Supreme. There is no cheating. There is no imperfection. Therefore, you get the correct answer. You surrender to Krishna. To surrender to Krishna is the best tactful. And if you surrender, he will give you instruction, then all tactfulness will be there. Tesamaham. Tesam sadhavitanam bhajatam prithi purvakam buddhi yogam dadamitam jinamam bhajani. If you become completely surrendered, devotee of Krishna, he is within your heart. He will give you right instruction so that every sphere of life will be perfect. Hmm. Why people are so cruel? Why do they persecute other human beings and torture them? How is it they are able to do this? Because he is not in his normal condition. Under the uh, dictation of Maya, he is thinking, this is my enemy, this is my friend, and he is acting like that. Uh, but when he becomes Krishna conscious, then he becomes Lane. There is no more enemy. Everyone is friend. Samasarvi su dhute su madhvakti ilavati param. That is the highest stage of life. All right. Chandra.